Tomatoes are nowadays such a popular fruit that it's hard to imagine a time when people refuse to consume them. And yes, for those who are wondering, tomatoes are, from a herbology perspective, a fruit. However, they're consumed as vegetables, and they are legally seen as vegetables in the US. If you're confused, don't worry, we have an entire video explaining this conundrum. You'll find it linked below or in the card on the top right corner. As you probably already guessed from this intro, today's topic is tomatoes, yet again. They're in the spotlight this time because we found out Europeans used to fear and refuse to eat them. Why? Keep watching to find out. Hello, and welcome to Curiosity Factor. This is another video about tomatoes and how people in the 1700s feared it. According to the Smithsonian Museum, Spanish conquistadors who traveled to Mesoamerica in the early 16th century are thought to have brought into Europe tomato seeds from their expeditions. Initially, these new seeds were introduced to the southern parts of the continent. Some researchers believe the famous conquistador Hernán Cortés brought tomato seeds to Europe in 1519, but not for food. People who lived in cooler climates didn't eat tomatoes until the late 1800s. They only used the plants ornamentally. There's a record of the tomato in the British North American colonies in the 1710 history of plants, Botanologia, penned by herbalist William Salmon. It's important to note that the tomatoes that were originally brought into Europe are the same ones that we consume today. However, many Europeans in the late 1700s thought that they were poisonous. How did they get to that conclusion? Well, at the time, many aristocrats used pewter plates for consuming their food, plates that were high in lead content. Tomatoes, on the other hand, are so high in acidity that when put on this particular type of plate, the fruit would leach lead from the tableware, ultimately poisoning the consumer with lead. Many aristocrats ate tomatoes off these pewter plates and died shortly after ingesting the red fruit. This led to a frenzy of people believing that the tomato was poisonous. But this was just one part of the reason why people thought to ill of these delicious fruits. Another factor in the long history of fear of tomatoes can be traced back to the Italian herbalist Pietro Andre Mattioli. His classification of the tomato as a part of the deadly nightshade family, Solanaceae plants that contain toxic tropane alkaloids, and a mandrake, a group of foods thought to be aphrodisiacs, had repercussions that lasted for over 200 years. This combination, a deadly aphrodisiac, made Europeans believe the fruit was poisonous and a temptation. John Gerard's herbal did further damage to the tomato's reputation by erroneously plagiarizing inaccurate information from Dodoins and Lecluse's agricultural works of 1553 and writing that the whole plant was of rank and stinking savor. Yes, toxicity exists in the tomato's plant's leaves and stems, but not the fruit. If it's any consolation, in the United States in the 1830s, people also feared tomato worms as a poisonous threat. The interesting question, however, is, how did the tomato gain its good reputation? Thanks to the expansion of scientific knowledge, people began to realize that tomatoes weren't actually a threat. Agriculture has much to do with the rise of tomatoes' popularity, as farmers began to cultivate different varieties. Meanwhile, fears surrounding tomatoes appeared to fade. By the 1850s, tomatoes had grown immensely popular in America. With the invention of pizza in Naples, Italy, around 1880, the widespread popularity of tomatoes spread throughout Europe, and the rest is history. Nowadays, tomatoes come in countless varieties, from heirlooms, cherry tomatoes, to romas, and much more, and are enjoyed all around the world. For example, according to market data from Statista, the US per capita consumption of fresh tomatoes in 2021 was £18.8, .8, which means the average American eats nearly £20 of fresh tomatoes per year. The USDA also shows a loss-adjusted consumption rate of canned tomatoes was even higher than fresh tomatoes in 2019, thanks to popular foods like pizza. So, before you order your next tomato and basil panini, or a bowl of hot tomato soup from your go-to cafe, stop to think about this mind-blowing thought. People used to fear tomatoes. Do you like tomatoes? What is your favourite tomato-rich food? Let us know your preferences in the comments section below. And, if you enjoy learning fun and interesting histories, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in our next video.